So first I always moisturize my lips. I use the Smith's Minted Rose Lip Balm. It's amazing. And you guys always ask me how I get such soft lips, and it's because of this. I've literally never found anything that matches it. Then I like to take my MAC Fix Plus water, and this is amazing, you can use it for tons of things, but I love to spray it on the face before foundation because it gives a little bit of slip and it can kind of shear out your foundation a little bit, and it has glycerin, so it helps plump the skin also. So I'm just going to spray a little bit of this on the face. And then for primer, I swear by the Hourglass Mineral Veil, so that's what I'll be using for primer. For foundation, my favorite ever is the NARS Sheer Glow. If you've been with me since I started YouTube, you know this is my favorite. So I'm just going to be using this on my Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush, which is another one of my favorite tools for applying foundation. And for the brows, I use Dip Down Fluid Line from MAC. If you'd like to see a tutorial, let me know, but I'm not going to show it in this one. For the eyes, I always start with the primer. I start off with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. It's similar to Painterly. This one's just a little bit more yellow, which I like. So first I'm going to take W.O.S. from the Naked Basics palette, it's just a beige, and apply it all over the lid. All the crease colors I use every day are from MAC. The first one I'm going to use is Soft Brown from MAC, and I'm just going to apply that as a transition in the crease. And the brush that I'm using is the Sigma E40 Tapered Blending. This is the best blending brush. Then I'm going to take my Sigma E25 and Texture from MAC. This is just an orangey brown with a little bit of a sheen to it and apply this in the crease. This is such a gorgeous brown. So warm. So I'm just going a little bit below soft brown. Circular motions on the outside, then working it in. Next, I'm going to take Swiss Chocolate for MAC, and this is just a really warm brown with reddish undertones, and apply this also in the crease, a little bit below texture, but this is really what's going to add the depth. So I'm bringing it right to the lash line and then blending it up. Then I'm going to take just a little bit of faint from the Naked Basics palette and apply this in the crease also just to give it a little bit more of a neutral color. Now going back to soft brown, I'm going to take just a little bit just to blend everything out. Now I'm going to take Foxy from the Naked Basics palette and apply this on the brow bone. This one's a little bit more yellow than W.O.S., but it brings the warmth back. Now I'm going to go apply my eyeliner off camera, and I do have a tutorial on how I do it, so I'll link that down below if you want to check it out. So for concealer, I first use the CoverGirl Corrector. This is in the number 230. It's the correcting shade.
Then I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Fair and apply this under the eyes and anywhere else I want my face to be highlighted. To set it, I'm going to take my Ben Nye Banana Powder on an e.l.f. blush brush. To finish the eyes, first I'm going to take this Chromographic Pencil from MAC. It's a nude flash tone liner and line my waterline. It really opens up the eyes and it's great for daytime. Now for the lower lash line, I'm going to go back with Swiss Chocolate and Texture from MAC and just apply Swiss Chocolate and then Texture right below it to really blow out the eyes. For the inner tear ducts, I go back to the Naked Basics palette and use the color Venus. It's just a shimmery beige and apply that. Then for mascara, I always use the Maybelline The Rocket Mascara. It's replaced the two or three that I used to use. So I'm just going to use that. I also have a review on this if you want to check it out. I'll link it. So now for a bronzer, you guys know I swear by the Balm's Bahama Mama bronzer. I usually either use my Sonia Kashuk stippling brush or my Sigma F05. It just really depends on what I feel like. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Sonia Kashuk stippling brush. So for blush, I alternate usually between four because it just depends on what I'm going for or what kind of mood I'm feeling in. Since the look is so neutral, you can really wear any kind of blush that you want. So I usually go between NARS Orgasm, The Balm's Down Boy, Max Modern Mandarin, and NARS Madly. So pink, peachy pink, orange, or this bronzy shade. But I've been wearing this a lot and I love using NARS Madly when it starts to get a little warmer. It gives just a really pretty bronzy effect to the cheeks. And I focus it for my apples back. I don't like to go on the apples of my cheeks because my cheeks are already round. And this brush, this is the Sigma F40 Large Angled Contour, is amazing for blush and bronzer. It's so, so soft. For a cheek highlight, I love the Dior Amber Diamond. Again, I have a few that I go between, but I've been reaching for this a lot ever since I bought it. Then I'm going to take the Urban Decay D-Slick and spray this all over my face. This helps set your makeup and prevent oil. I get oily. For lips, I like to stick with something neutral or pink. Pinks are my favorite. Today I'm going to use MAC's Kinda Sexy Lipstick. This is a nude with a little bit of peachy pink undertones. And then I use MAC's Strip Down Liner and top it off with my Wava Lip Butter. So that was my everyday makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you want me to do next. And thank you for watching. Bye.